a lot of things can be said about China and the CCP, but I will say this. I take my hat, hat off to their geostrategic strategy around the world. It has been in place for decades, slowly built to raise the profile and prominence of the sovereignty of that nation. Now, some can say that they have devious plans, but look what they're doing. They're just trying to position themselves as a preeminent nation in their sphere of influence. And they know that that doesn't just mean the South Asia Seas or South Asia, but it can be international as well. So whether it's about getting the finest minds in foreign universities, funding their own um, their own movie system or funding American films or creating ingenious new inventions, they understand that importance. Most recently, for example, um, in, China, in, in the CC, CCP has integrated within China, the educational system, that Hong Kong was a colony that it was never originally British. Can you imagine the Indian education system talking about their own history so brazenly? They wouldn't. The fact that China can do this and is not ashamed of it is something to be proud of. Now, India is getting there very, very slowly, but they are still afraid of being able to position themselves and the strength of, of their strength of their history. I mean, Gandhi will always be a hero, but Bose will always be someone who is a bit suspect until we get to the point where we are proud of our heroes and our culture, we can only admire China from afar because China understands that they don't need to be the doormat for the West. They can assert themselves and to that, to their credit, they have done that. So why can't Bharat do the same?